Today, I'm going to try to educate you, but I'm not doing that in any professional capacity. I'm doing it in, in my noob capacity. If you're anything like me, and you, well, well, then you love watching Stefan on CNC Kitchen. And there is absolutely no denying that every video that he produces, apart from being flawlessly executed, always gives you a sense of learning something new about 3D printing. However, if you are not a mechanical engineer and you're not so physics inclined, he says something quite a lot. 43 megapascals, 2000 megapascals, 57 megapascals, megapascal, megapascal. It's obviously a unit of measurement. We, we, like most people will get that far. But how can you equate that in real life to something offhand? Now, if you tell an engineer that this object reaches breaking point at 50 megapascal, he'll understand. I won't. You tell me that a car was totaled because it crashed into a wall at 200 miles an hour, th that I'll understand. And the idea that I have today is to try and simplify this enough for everyone to understand. And by that, I can already feel all the mechanical engineers just... Now, Pascal is a unit of pressure. In order to get that unit of pressure, there's a formula. Thingamabob here. So you have your Pascal. It's important to put the A there, which is the force applied over area. Now we measure force in Newtons and we measure area or square meters. Now everyone roughly knows how much a square meter is, but when it comes to force, we measure that in Newton. And not everyone knows how much a Newton actually is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an example of weight, uh, more specifically mass, to show you exactly how much force is exerted in a Newton. This is a 42 millimeter cube and it weighs 100 grams. Now, very important here, I'm going to be rounding up without going into decimals and stuff like that because I do just want you to get the general idea. If I put this on my hand, you'll feel a force, or I'll, I'm feeling a force, it's in my hand. Um, that force, which is 100 grams of force pushing down is equivalent to one Newton. So if you take this, you flatten it out and make it one square meter with the same weight, which... So I did this. Um, these are 25 pieces of 0 0.1 millimeter layer height, well, layers, um, printed 20 by 20 centimeters stuck together to form one meter by one meter. Now they also weigh four grams each. So that weighs a hundred grams. So if I grab this and I throw it on the floor right there, what we have here is one square meter and a hundred grams. Ergo one Newton over one square meter means it's one Pascal. This is not like a degree level teaching here, at least you probably noticed. Now back to this cube. While this also exerts one Newton of force, it does not mean it exerts one Pascal of pressure because it covers a much smaller area than one square meter. So in order to find the pressure that this exerts in Pascal, first, what you need to do is find the mass in kilograms and then multiply that by 10. 10 being gravity. I know it's supposed to be 9.80665. I know, but just rounding up. Just saying. You then divide that by the area it is covering in meters squared, which in this case is 0 0.042 times 0 0.042. And after a bit of calculator in between shots, uh, that is 566.8. Pascal. Now, if someone came up to you and told you that this piece of plastic, which is one centimeter by one centimeter, required 50 megapascals of pressure to break. By the way, mega is a, like m million. So 50 megapascal is 50 million pascal. Then there is also a simplified formula you can do. And that is you grab your 50 megapascals, which is 50 million, and you multiply that by the area it covers. Since we're using square meters, 0 0.01 times 0 0.01, which equals to 0 0.0001. So if you multiply 50 million by 0 0.0001, it comes to around 5,000 Newton. We know that if one Newton exerts 
100 grams of force, then 5,000 newtons will exert 500 kilograms of force. So when someone now tells you that this required 50 megapascals to snap or to stretch or 50 megapascals of anything, you know that's roughly 500 kilograms. Now, as I said, I dumbed this down. I am not a mechanical engineer, but learning this, like it, 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 it was awesome because I can finally understand something. I don't have to understand everything. I just need the general idea of things. And if you like this video, make sure you share and like, and leave a comment. <laughs> I'm sure many of you will. Um, because I might have a way to explain what Young's modulus is. So yeah, that should be fun. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe for more of this content, more of this educational noob content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy making, everyone.